So I'm teasing. Hang on. The World Gravy Wrestling Championships. There could be some great pictures somewhere. There have to be. I have to go look now. Okay, do whatever it is you do, and I'm, I'll be back when I'm interested again. Coming up on this episode of This Is True Really News. Yeah. Stories. You think? Yeah, I would. I mean, I, really? Sort of, yeah, it's the premise of the show. Oh, crap. Now I gotta so, find, hang on. Now I got to find stories. I got one about a cat. Please like, subscribe, and follow This Is True Really News. We, Because we want to annoy you with the crap we do. And well, we think you'll get a kick out of it. What's embarrassing? All the pictures. Hang on. Let me go to images. The World Gravy Wrestling Championships. From yesterday. Yeah. Okay. From whenever it was. Yeah. Yeah. I see two chicks wrestling, two guys wrestling, two chicks wrestling, two guys wrestling. Okay. They alternate them between gender. Oh, there are more guys than girls, and there's one. Okay, I like the girl here, right? She's got the blue sports bra, and her shorts are the flag of the UK flag. Okay. Here's somebody with a great six-pack. He's wrestling in 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 Speedos. Oh, I thought uh, I thought it was something other than gravy. Here's a Van, da a Van Damme flying kick. Oh, my. Um, here's some girl that looks like she actually might have had a formal on at one point. It's not anymore. Ah. Okay, next time this happens, we're going. Okay. Laddie, <laughs> can you get us tickets, dude? <laughs> the World Gravy Championships. Wrestling Championships. Sounds wonderful. Thank you. This is True Really News with Scott Combs and Tony Vercanis. All the news you're about to hear is true. Really? As far as you know. I'm sorry. Now, I, that was rude of me. <laughs> really? I mean, it's not the rudest thing I've ever done. But, no, you know, it's top, not. Top 45 easy. <laughs> it certainly does comport with your other comportment. You call me portmanly? Yes. Is that like husky? Remember when you were yeah. a kid? You're husky. Oh, yeah, now I'm yeah. short and fat, Mom. Come on. <laughs> Where were we now? You were starting a story. I don't think that was it. I think it was. On August 20th, New Hampshire, as opposed to what I used to say would have been New Hampshire. Uh, I would say New Hampshire. You would because I got no idea. I'm creative. The, no, that's not it. New Hampshire Fish and Game Officers, along with a member of the U.S. Forest Service, and I'm sure he was thrilled to be there, were called to an Appalachian Mountain Club hut, Appalachian Mountain Club hut in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania? No, we're in New Hampshire. To confront okay. Brian Chevier of Boylston. There's a town you want to be from. Right. Feel like the whole city should be lanced. <laughs> According to WMUR TV, about six yeah. o'clock, the thirty-five-year-old Chevier was was found atop the hut, naked. Hmm. Naked as a jaybird, hmm. and he wasn't streaking. So Ray Stevens had no song here, where he had been threatening hikers according to officers. What, to pee on him? What well, he was highly, to... all they said at the time was he was highly agitated. Uh, oh, so we were tweaking, were we? Che is that the dance thing where you... No, that's twerking. That's it. And we really don't want to see that. No, we don't. Well, not us. <laughs> Just take a large bag, fill it up with, with cottage cheese, shake it a bit, you got the same idea. There we Chevier go. descended from the roof of the hut around 10 o'clock that night. So four hours he's up there. Yeah. He was then escorted to the Zealand Trailhead parking lot where he was taken into custody. They yeah. still haven't figured out exactly quite what was i believe in my phrasing it would be what the hell was going on there but what do you do speaking of surprises why do you take your clothes off to go on top of a hut right Ooh. by the way speaking of huts pizza hut is going to start um selling uh pizza by the slice it's actually kind of a pizza sandwich didn't they used to do that thing with their they had the buffet thing in the after for lunch. Yeah, yeah, but this this you can order and have to order or go go. Yeah, and, well, it's more of a sliced sandwich because there's there's uh, thin and crispy crust on either side of the fixins. I do love their thin and crispy crust, though. So do I. Give me now, a give me a. If you ever are thinking of ordering pizza, make yeah. it a double pepperoni. Yeah, if you want to throw in a few onions? I would not argue. Okay, put it on thin and crispy mm. and get it to my house. And it will not be tell, consumed. Do not tell my granddaughters. 
Mm. Because they will want to share. And sharing is not on the menu. I don't mind sharing, but I'd really like not to if I, you know. Demo the cat frequently surprises her owner, Rachel Masterman of Caldecott, Wales, UK, Northern Hemisphere, Earth. Demo? Uh, What? Does it? It's like a showroom cat? What? I don't. (laughs) Rachel is obviously a creative. Anyway, he showers. Demo is creative. He showers her with weird gifts like a watering can or a pair of gloves. Okay, I'm liking the cat already. (laughs) She's absolutely bonkers, honestly. She's taken flower arrangements and cards from the graveyard behind the house. So if she were a dog, she'd be one sick puppy. Is what oh, yeah. yeah. I've got so many gloves and random cloths. But without a doubt, this is the weirdest thing she's brought back. Yes. Now, she's been doing this for years, just so you know. I, she's, not a, she's not a kitten at this. But the other day, I was on the phone with my sister when she turned up at the door. At first, I thought it was one of those car air freshener things. But then I showed my sister, and she said, oh, Rachel, that's, that's not an air freshener. It took me a minute. But once I realized what it was hang on hang on hang on hang on oh no okay (laughs) go ahead i was absolutely horrified i had my 12 year old son asking me what (laughs) what is that mom what the hell is that Uh, well it's uh it's uh i I know know what what that is is. yeah what the hell what the hell is that so let's just say it's that was funny in our day it's they used to sell them in the sears and wards catalogs as personal massagers just so you know yes they did Demo has become a local celebrity as the result of her hilarious antics and even has her own Facebook page. She typically generates as many as 500 likes per post. Ms. Masterman said, people stop me in the shop and ask me if I'm the cat's owner that steals everything. My other two cats, Bibble, three. Oh, oh, I was, I was thinking one cat was named three, but Bibble's three years old. My other two cats, Bibble 3 and Pepe 2, just bring back the usual things like mice. Demo. Hang on. Demo, (laughs) Bibble, and Pepe. And Pepe. Yeah, very much. Okay. There's just no way I can stop her. Everyone keeps saying we should put a GoPro on her, but she hates the harness. (laughs) So she's actually tried. I think she ought to just photograph everything demo brings back and put that up that's pretty hilarious that would work yeah more good thing she didn't see if she was in the estates she'd be rich because we'd already there'd be a television show oh yeah absolutely there'd be a reality show with her on it right there demo loves bibble how does peppy work in this is he the comic relief apparently no demo would have to be the comic relief because that's when the gods and scavenges stupid things yeah that's right all right you just bring back birds and mice you know, like an uh, ordinary self-respecting cat would do. Suppose they got together and got, okay, who wants to be the dumb one? Where did the cat find this thing? That's, I don't want to know. I No, I'm serious. I. Mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> so we're in Rhode Island. Probably has to be exact. In the early morning hours... Amanda Keene headed out for work with her earpods in because we don't just listen to stuff anymore. We have to put earpods in to listen. That's right. She was listening to How 21st Century of You, a true crime podcast. Mm, this is a crime that's true. Speaking of which, I've got one coming up next. On her, on her. It's foreshadowing. Okay. I thought I was just interrupting, but that's just me. Yeah, well, and you would know interrupting. I would know interrupting. On her 45-minute trip from Providence to Easton, Massachusetts, she stopped for gas. It wasn't until she arrived at her workplace, Honeydew Donuts, oh, I'm liking this lady, (laughs) that she discovered a stowaway in her back seat. I hear moaning, like a moaning noise, she told WJR-TV. WJR-TV? Maybe it's the cat with the... I rolled down my window because I wanted to check outside. I realized it was not coming from outside my truck. It was coming from inside my truck. The phone called. Remember that? What was the movie? Artemis Gordon was the bad guy. He kept calling this girl and scaring her. And they figured out the phone call was coming from inside the house. Oh, still gives me the willies. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, no, moaning is coming from inside the truck. Yes. Tucked on the floor in the back seat was 21-year-old Jose Osorio of Providence. He was mostly naked. Hi, Jose. Yeah. What's mostly, shaking, baby? Well, most everything, he was almost naked. Police said he was extremely intoxicated, you think? And admitted later that he had also consumed marijuana. Hey, booze and booze and marijuana. Always Yay! good pairing. He was, I don't know what, what beer would you put with marijuana? Most any. He was charged with breaking and entering a vehicle. Keen wasn't hurt, but was, quote, so mad. If he had made noises or popped up while I was driving, we would have crashed. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking, yeah. Yeah, said, like in movies, right? Where, A, you got in the car and you never noticed the guy in the back seat, which is always odd to me. Um, and then B, you're driving along and the guy pops up in the back seat and it's like, uh oh, there's a guy in the back seat. No kidding. At that point, I'm screaming, veering for a tree, I'm sure, because <laughs> you're not paying attention me. to the road anymore. The uh the thing that I think is so funny about that is some people's initial reaction to that fright is to lash out. And I have seen any number of of reels lately where people scare somebody. And the woman, and it's mostly women, but they reach out and they hit him right in the face. Why do we think it's funny? This Wham! I saw one where the the guy comes up and tries to scare the woman, and she hits him with a roundhouse kick right in the head. I love that. And then she feels bad, and I go, "Why? <laughs> He's an idiot." <laughs> when he comes to, you can apologize, but I wouldn't. Yeah, neither would I. So this is what you get for being an idiot. Oh, speak speaking speaking of stupid people. Paul James Sinclair, 56. Oh, good. I thought you were going to bring us up. Entered a Chase Bank uh, Chase Bank branch in Seminole, Florida, around 1.25 p.m. one day. Approached a teller with his hand under his shirt. Then, according to the police report, he made the shape of a gun with his finger and demanded the teller hand over cash and told her not to push any buttons as he waited. How do you, does that look like a gun to you? No, it looks like a wayward large nipple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if that thing goes off, God knows what could happen. It could be ugly. The man fled the scene with every bit of $120. Sinclair, who cops describe as a transient, was and not arrested. All that bright. At, let's see. He went in at 125. Yeah. He was arrested at 136 p.m. He didn't spend any of that money, did he? He didn't get it far at all. No. And charged with robberies, being held in jail in lieu of 10,000 bond. $10,000 bond on the felony count. <laughs> when police found him, his finger gun had mysteriously disappeared. He's an idiot after, after all. all. Oh, gal, now the mouse is going to sue us. <laughs> Again? Still. This is True Really News. Send email to TITR at netradio.network. <laughs>